Hello and welcome to the Customize Forms tutorial. This feature lets you add, remove, or change almost any field in your practice. Some customizations are already possible by choosing various options in the Settings Account tab in the Question Configuration section. For instance, from there you can hide the SSN field or hide the entire financial information section. Let's begin with a simple example of a few changes to the Basic tab. For instance, let's remove the highest education field and add a new field in the same place called who is your chiropractor. The first step is to navigate to the settings section here at the bottom and then the customize forms tab on the left side. From here press the plus button at the top. I will tap on the remove field option since I want to remove the highest education field. Next, we have to choose which tab the field is located in. This field was in the Basic tab, so I will choose that. Next, we have to choose which group the field is located in. The group name is normally listed at the top of each form. In this case, it is the Basic Information group. Lastly, I get to choose the field I want to remove. They are all listed in order as they appear on the form. So I'm just going to scroll down. Here we go. Then I will press save. Next I will press the plus button again and choose add field. Then again I will choose the tab and group. Then I choose the field that this new field will be placed after. Notice how the highest education field is missing because we've removed that from the list. Then I get to choose the field type. It can be a text field, a multi-selection, drop-down, yes, no, date, or date and time. In this case, we will make it a text field so that the client can type in any text for their chiropractor. Alternatively, you could make it a drop-down box and then list all the chiropractors in your area You could put a other option or a none option so that the user could choose other or none if they either don't see a chiropractor or it's somebody else that's not listed. We could also choose a multi-selection field type. This is similar to a drop-down box except they can choose multiple options simultaneously. So if they see two different chiropractors then they could choose them both. But we'll go back to a text field for this example. Next we set our field text which in this case will be, who is your chiropractor? We can choose whether this field is required or not. If we make it a required field, then a pop-up message will appear if they don't fill it out. However, they will have the option to choose ignore. The next option we have is whether or not to make this field only appear if some other field is answered a certain way. So, for instance, you can make it so this field only appears if they answer yes to a previous question. As an example, we could add a field that says, do you have a chiropractor? Then we could make it so this field only appears if that field is answered as yes. But we'll keep it simple for this example and just press save. Then we can go back to our client and we can see now that there is a new field that says who is your chiropractor and the highest education field is gone. Now one thing to keep in mind is you don't want to repurpose a field. We could have, technically we could have simply done a change field entry to change the text of the highest education field to who is your chiropractor. However, that would make all the previous answers of the highest education field appear under this new field text of who is your chiropractor. And that would be inaccurate information. For instance, it would say who is your chiropractor and the answer for your older clients could be something like high school. And that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. And so the way you do a change field 
is simply by coming back to the Customize Forms tab and pressing Add Change Field Text. So as an example, we could go to the basic tab, choose basic information, and change the first name. We could change the field type, so they could choose their first name, which of course doesn't make sense. Or we could change the field text to something like primary name. Obviously that doesn't make sense either, but that's just an example. So if you want to change the field text or the field type of a field, then this is a quick way to do that. Just be sure you're not repurposing a field. So you can make all kinds of field additions in various areas of the app. Uh, you can first choose any tab that's in the application they're pretty much all listed here. So if you want to add a field to the prenatals, you would then choose the prenatal group, which is the only group in a prenatal tab. And then you may want to place a field after the visit dura duration. Or I'm thinking of an example that I see commonly, such as wanting to add SPO2. So you want to be careful where you add something. You don't want to add, for instance, right now I'm scrolling through the uh, the pregnancy symptoms area. I don't want to add SPO2 under this had pregnancy symptoms section. So I'm going to keep scrolling, but I want to stay in the objective section. So here's a place that makes sense. Well, I'll just make it the first the first field in the objective section. And I'm going to make this a text field called SP02 I won't make it required and uh, I'll press save then I can go to a client record and look at a prenatal and it should be here somewhere here it is spo2 and it's in the objective section if i show soap then you can see it's the first field after the objective section now we could make it so that it only appears um, in the physical exam section so let's move it to right here after let's say after the used clinical exam So to do that, I'm going to exit out of here, come back to Customize Forms, go to my Field Edition. And so I no longer want it to be placed after the Objective Section title, but I'm going to scroll down to the Physical Exam. Use Clinical Exam field. I'm going to let it remain a text field, but now I'm going to, I, I only want it to appear if the had physical exam is set to yes, and actually for that matter, even if you use clinical exam is set to yes. So then I have to come here and choose the parent field, use clinical exam, and that parent field needs to be set to yes. So I'll press save. I'm going to go back to that prenatal and see my changes. And here it is. If I set use clinical exam to no, then it's gone. I set it back to yes, and there it is. So it's a very powerful tool. Now you can't do absolutely everything with it. Um, for instance, I can't make a field get set to a certain value when I press set all normal. Um, for things like that, you're just going to still have to reach out to support. And uh, oftentimes we can make changes that the tool won't let you do. But this should satisfy 99% of the needs 
um, that you might have for adding or changing fields. Um, but again, first look in the settings account tab under the question configuration. Uh, let me show that to you real quick. And make sure that there's not already a setting that'll meet your needs. Uh, for instance, we even have a COVID test option in here somewhere. There's a lot of options. Okay, so it's actually include vaccine questions in health tab. Um, so that's already there. So you don't need to add that. Although, unless you just want to because you want it to be in a different place. Um, but you could add that and then choose the uh, change field option to move it. So here we have, have you had COVID-19? Have you received a COVID vaccination and the date of COVID vaccination? So that's already in there. So there are lots of options that are already in there, but uh, for anything you wanna add, you can always use that customized forms tool. And as always, if you have any questions, give us a call or send us an email at midwifesupport at mobilemidwifeehr.com. Thank you for watching this tutorial.